Hey, this is a totally unplanned live stream, so I hope it's not too windy. I'm like hiding down behind this concrete wall because I didn't, you did catch me. I didn't plan to go live, I didn't plan to live stream, and I was just driving along and it was just like, download, and I'm like, ah, I don't even have my earphones, so please let me know if it's too windy. I'm kind of hiding in this, I don't know, next to this concrete wall, <laughs> but it's so beautiful, the sun's about to go down. So I'm hoping that you can hear me, so let me know if you can't, it doesn't seem windy at all. Awesome. Just what I wanted to hear. It's been blowing a gale here on the Sunshine Coast. It's been really, really windy. Um, I wanted to just jump on real quickly and as I said I was just driving around I was just driving and it just just dropped in to share this and I was like oh I didn't even bring my earphones didn't even plan for any of this and I'm like okay just do it right so basically I just wanted to jump on you're walking along the beach <laughs> um, hey Kristen and yeah, it's just like this, you know, like how do you know if you're doing what you're meant to be doing or if you're living through somebody's expectations of you. So basically it's kind of really quite simple, even though it might be really hard to decipher, right? So that's really contradictory in itself. But ultimately when you know what's right for you in your heart and soul, it's right for you yeah because it's very easy for someone else um, like a mentor or a parent or um, someone you look up to to say oh no this is what you're meant to be doing no this is what you need to be doing no that's not right you need to do this like who the fuck are they to say that ultimately and honestly like if it feels right in your heart and you know that that's what you're meant to do then you need to trust that and you need to trust that with your heart and soul because if it's not meant for you then it won't happen and it will be hard and well not that anything's easy but you know well it can be but do you know what I mean it's like don't let anyone tell you what you know in your heart and soul is right for you and what you need to do because nobody knows what your soul is guiding you to do to walk where you're walking to hey Simon to go through the lessons that you're meant to go through, to get to the place where you're meant to go to. Hey Perla, hey Cass, everyone's here today. Thanks for joining me live. It was totally unexpected for me to go live or unplanned. Not that I plan them, but I kind of have an idea when I'm gonna do them. Anyway, so ultimately, you know, I just wanted to jump on and say that, that, you know, like if you know it's right for you in your heart, then you need to trust it. And at no time, you know, like, and you'll, you'll feel it too when when you kind of catch yourself um, when you catch yourself kind of going oh it's when you start second guessing yourself it's when you start doubting yourself it's when you start shrinking into a little hole and don't want to come out again it's you know when you value somebody else's opinion more than you value your own now, it might sound like, oh, well, why would you do that? But ultimately, when we're looking up to somebody, when we have a mentor or we have somebody that we admire, whether it is a mentor or a parent or, you know, anyone that we look up to, ultimately, um, it's very easy to think that they know better. It's easy to think that they know the right path for you. It's easy to, you know, take what they say as gospel and try to apply it to your life. And if that doesn't work for you, well then you obviously need to take note. But the thing is, you know, like everybody in the world, you know, mentors, parents, people, you know, we all follow and look up to them and learn from them ultimately. But it's not that every single thing that you take will resonate or is meant for you, right? And that's where your truth filter comes in. So we're in ears, we're almost ready to step into the throat chakra. So this is very much living and speaking in truth, filtering out what your truth is to somebody else is truth and trying not to swallow every truth whole because that's gonna make you sick ultimately and you know following your own heart and soul starts with knowing what your truth is what you value what's important to you where you're going in life why what's you know who's there who's not yeah and those kind of factors are things that you need to get clear on because then they then you won't get led astray then you won't well, it's not that you won't but you'll catch yourself quicker and quicker in pulling yourself up in kind of listening out there or listening listening within because the best mentors are the ones who guide you to for this to come out yeah 
rather than going, no, this is what you need to be doing. No, that's wrong. You need to be doing this, right? So I felt really strongly called to jump on and just say that. As you can see, it's a very prompt, impromptu live stream, but catching the sunset at the same time, it's literally going down now. Don't even have my earphones or anything, so I'm trusting that you can hear me. It's very, very dumb. So Frankie says, so true. It's all about how we learn to listen to ourselves. It's not that anyone is wrong, but the best mentor is yourself. Yeah, exactly. And the right mentors are there at the right time for the right learning and the right lessons and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know, and it, everything's all perfect. But I felt strongly called to jump on and say, your best mentor is yourself, like you said, Frankie. And, you know, listening within is your best guide. So... If you're not sure on your values, your you know what's important to you, what you're clear on, what you're not, you know what's right for you, what's not, they're the things that you really need to kind of knuckle down and focus on within yourself. Um, in calling in your soulmate, we do exactly that because it is about what nourishes you, what doesn't, um, you know what fills you up, what doesn't, what's in alignment, what's not, what needs to be shifted out, shifted out, what needs to be cleared out, what gunk sitting in your sacral that you need to clear out. Um, you know, who have you got in your life, why, you know, what are they reflecting, what do you need to integrate, all that stuff we go into in calling in your soulmate. So I'll post a link in the comments because there's only five days left for early bird for calling in your soulmate and um, <laughs> you did make it Viv. And yeah, the early bird, we start next Thursday, but early bird closes on Tuesday. So Kristen says, sorry, the things that we don't feel called to do make us want to hide away because that is how I feel about a thing in my life. Yeah, and it's, it's it, there's the sun disappearing, sun setting. <laughs> It is that, you know, like, I guess it's like when you're kind of crawling into a hole, like you want to get further and further away from the world. And, you know, that can be for a number of reasons. Obviously, self-care is a big one. Um, but, you know, if you're doing something that doesn't feel right or doesn't bring your soul alive, well, then you really need to kind of look at that and question why. And, you know, getting clear on your values and what's important to you will give you a good indication of if you're going off track, which makes you want to hide away, especially if you're highly intuitive, sensitive empath, <laughs> like I know you are, Kristen. So you want to check in with that, yeah? Um, because it's very easy for us to feel like that when we're going, you know, it's not a wrong path again, but, you know, when we're moving further away from our true path or the one that brings us alive well then yeah I'd be definitely looking at that so um, I'm going to post the link in the comments uh, to calling in your soulmate like I said there's only five days left to grab the early bird we start next Thursday so if any of this resonates with you then definitely jump on in because we go through all this in detail um, let me know if you've got any questions if you're watching the replay please obviously comment below and I will get back to it um, if you feel that this video can help somebody, please share it. So looking forward to connecting with you more. Kristen, yes, self-care rang a bell for sure. And yes, we'll have a look at it all. You're very welcome. No worries. So tune in with self. Have a beautiful um, morning, evening or night, wherever you are. There's the beautiful sunset going down. And trust where you feel called to go. Listen within always. Remember, keep it real. Lots of love. Namaste.